Yo, welcome to week two of the PCG Draft League. I'm Coach Nui, and we are facing the Mid Valley Meows this week, coach, which is coached by um, Devin. This week, we are bringing, well, I shouldn't say what I'm bringing. This week, my opponent is have on his team the Annihilate, the Boss Caliber, Sylveon, Mousehold, Espeon, uh, this Dark Dog, uh, Magneton, Drug Trio, Camera Up, and Amoongus. And as you can see, for our team purposes, let's show you. Uh, check summary real quick. We have 5 9 in the Tatsugiri. We got Squawk Ability, the Billy Buff. But yeah, Billy Buff, the Toxic, um, the Squawk Ability. Fluffy, the Wigglytuff. Zero, the Cerule Edge. Wakaba, the Espathra. And uh, Fletamina Meta. That's the team we're rocking with this week. I'm mainly scared of the Amoongus and the Annihilate. Not too sure what they can do. I mean, I know what Annihilate can do. I already got 6 0 by one earlier today, so I know what that thing can do. But I'm not sure what. Um, okay, so he doesn't bring the Luxio. So that's literally the fastest Pokemon on his team. So, honestly, as long as he doesn't have a Scarf lead. I think I could leave with my Flutterman, honestly. Yeah, I could lead off with Flutterman. Nothing on his team outspeeds Flutterman, so I don't see why I can't. Dang! Yeah, I don't see why I can't lead Flutterman this week, so I am gonna leave. Lead Fluttermane. Let's see what the lead for my opponent this week is. <sighs> Scarf M8. That's the back to caliber. Okay. I, I, I feel like this thing is Scarf. I really do. But that's fine. Um, It really doesn't do much to us. Does he got a Stale type? He got that. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Parasolize. The Terrasolize still. That's not good. What does he go for? Dragon Dance? Okay. That's fine. Sort of. Um. No, that's not fine at all, honestly. Do I need you? No, not really. I'll go for another Moon Blast. Icicle Crash. Does it kill? It should. Yep. Honestly, we're going to get the Intimidate drop here. And then you go for Agus Girl Crash. Box Caliber is what? Base 87. Kasugiri is 82. I don't think I'll be. Um. I think I get the point. Okay, it goes for Ice Crush. This is not good at all.
I'm focused on some Cerule Edge. Yeah, we're gonna. All right, we're gonna go into Cerule Edge here. I'm focused, Ash. So I can live this and go for the bitter blade to kill it. And we get some HP back off of the bit of blade. All right, this start down. Now we got now 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 I got a little focus into the game now. That's the terrestrialize is going now. I don't have to worry about that. Now the only Pokemon that I want to terrestrialize on my team is my Spathra because my Fluttermane is down and my Bird is down. And now I'm plus one speed. Getting through them. Who is that? Espeon? Okay. Honestly, I don't think Espeon lives a Shadow Sneak. Very good. Um, could go for another Bitter Blade, but it doesn't kill. Yeah, let's just go for Shadow Sneak. Oh, damn. That didn't kill. Okay, cool. Shadow Ball, that's definitely going to kill us. That's why Espeon's almost dead. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. I'm gonna go into Espathra right now. This is this is what I this is the moment I've been waiting for. So you go for Shadow Ball, and I'm going to rationalize normal with the Calm Mind. Yeah, 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 this is perfect. I get the plus, uh, I get the plus one is special attack, special defense, and I get the free speed boost here. Perfect. Uh, honestly, I can go for, I don't think SPM, do I be yeah, I'm gonna get another calm mine. I'm gonna get another calm mine here because I feel like the annihilate will switch in into the store power or the dog if he got the dog. I don't remember if he brought the dog. But if I could get another calm mine, that would be a plus plus one and um special attack, special defense, and another speed boost. So that's. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Who are you to go into? Magneton? Okay, Magneton, I, hmm. I'm actually worried here. Okay, I'm going to protect this. I think it's definitely evil, like. Okay, I'm gonna go for store power. I don't know how much this does from this room. Okay, it does more than half. Okay, then the wave. Okay, this is exactly going how my um trial went. That's fine. We still outspeed most of the team at this point. I'm gonna go for another store power. Magneton goes down. Okay, so now my store power should be able to take out a lot of things. And I went for plus two and special attack and special defense. All I have to do is not get fully paralyzed. Okay. Alright, so here goes turn one. I'm not being fully paralyzed. Come on. Yep. Sylveon should go down here. What? It lived? Hyper voice. Okay, we don't die tonight. That's a throw spray? Nope. Okay. Yeah, we fast. Nah, we definitely faster than everything. So, I'm gonna go for another store power. Don't get full paralyzed. Come on. As long as I don't get fully paralyzed, I, it, it's. 
my my expositor can definitely win the game. Okay, so that's two turns of not getting fully paralyzed. That's good, that's good, that's good. And I feel like that Annihilate comes in here. Fisto, yeah, that's not Annihilate. I'm gonna go for D-Gleam. Okay, that should definitely kill. Perfect. And we got the crate. Oh my god. Alright, 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 alright. No fully paralyzed. I think that was the only Pokemon that can kill me from that point. What do you got? Ooh, what? That's the Amoongus. If I go... Can't spore me, so I don't care too much. Yeah. I knew it was gonna happen. It always happened at that point. Foul play. I mean, this doesn't do much. Okay. I'll go for another store power. Please don't get fully paralyzed again. Yo, this is not happening. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. That's two turns. No, that's two turns in a row. That's three turns in a row. This is not happening. This is not happening. Okay, Mungus should be down. Okay. What's your last? I think that's your last Pokemon is Espeon, right? Ten for the, What's this? Yeah, that's Espeon. Okay. Uh, let's just go for a D Gleam. Hopefully, I don't get fully paralyzed. Come on, Esprathra. Don't get fully paralyzed. I need you to claim this kill and we win. That turn one terrestrialization really scared me, man. If I don't get fully paralyzed here, I win. So it's faster than me. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can't be serious. I don't think I have a Pokemon that can take it out. Oh, I got Fluffy in the back. Okay. That's unfortunate. Can I live this Deagly? No, okay. Espothor, you did. You came out and show out. Okay, um. Yeah, I think Fluffy can win from this point on. Dags and Gleam. Okay, yeah, we can take those. Oh, GG. Oh my god, that scared me. Oh my god, GG. I got so scared. And once again, I'm sorry about the noise in the beginning. But good game to you, Dev. Uh, very scary, that's Espeon. I mean, Sylveon being... No, was that Espeon? Yeah, both evolutions, I just realized. But yeah, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to catch y'all in week three. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Okay, welcome to week two team analysis. Well, team preview. Well, yeah, team analysis, I want to say. Because this was, like I said, it's going after the battle. Uh, this week we were against Devin and Ben Batty, Mid Valley Meows. Um, team kind of pressures my team a lot. Um, don't know if you can see it. If you can't see it, let me know in the next video and I will adjust it. But uh, actually, you know what? I could just adjust it here now. Let's see. I think that should be good. So, um, Devin is drafted the Annihilate, but Bax Caliber, Sylveon, Mousehold, Espeon, a Mos Bostiff, Magnetong, Walk Trio, Camarup, and Amoongus. Honestly, looking at this team, the Pokemon that I have to be wary of is the Amoongus with the Spore, the Mousehold with the um, Population Bomb. 
Baskalibur is a pseudo legendary, so it's scary and gnarly. Uh, gnarly is just scary on paper, regardless of how I put it. I haven't really seen too much Wug Trio and the Dark Dog too much. Espeon is here with Magic Bounce, so I gotta be careful with my Rock Setter for this week. Looking at his team, he doesn't really have a. No, he actually does not have anything to remove rocks. So that's a that's a plus on our hand. So if we do get rocks up, it's there for good. This week we are rocking the meta Fluttermane with choice spec this week because nothing outspeeds our Fluttermane without a scarf on his team. Yeah, nothing outspeeds our Fluttermane. So that's I don't think I needed a scarf this week. Terra type of fairy, same same nature, same for EVs here. This week and we were rocking Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, and Mystical Fire. Um Yeah, I think last week we ran um Power Gem, I think it was. That was because I, the opponent team last week was severely weak to rock. This week we brought the mythical fire. Just to chip down on the special attack with Sylveon and Espeon. Uh, we brought Zero this Wool Edge with Focus Sash this week. Instead of Flash Fire, we are bringing Weak Armor. Weak Armor is... I want this Pokemon to set up and sweep this week. Or attempt to sweep this week. So this week we rock rocking 252 Attack, 252 Speed. I don't care about the 4. Jolly Nature with Sword Sense, Bitter Blade, Terror Blast, and Shadow Sneak. Uh... This week our terror type is fairy, so that excuse me. If the Annihilate come in and try to use Revenge Fish, or uh, or uh, or if Madigan Tongue, no, no, no. Or if the, the the Dark Dog try to come in and attack us, we could just terror type in a fairy. This is my main sweeper for this week. Um. And yeah, so that's why we decided to go fairy. I think fairy was the best option so that we don't die. If we get hit, we get the weakness, weak armor boost in our speed, low defense. But I think at that point, we could sweep with Terror Blast, Bitter Blade, and Shadow Sneak. Next up, we got Fluffy the Wiggly Tough, holding left uh, leftovers with 252 HP, 252 special attack, and four special defense. Um, modest nature with Stealth Rock stockpile. Um. Stored power and draining kiss. I honestly had up until this moment I had Dazzling and Gleam, but I decided to go with Draining Kiss for longevity. And Draining Kiss is actually a good move because instead of healing for fifty percent of what we do, it does seventy five. This here is our rock setter. Um if we stockpile up we can store power just like with Esprasra. So yeah, that's a plus. Next up, we got Billy Bob, the squad, the squad Billy, holding a heavy duty boots with Intimidate, 252 attack, 252 speed, Jolly Nature with Tailwind, Raver, Double Edge, and Parent Shot. I went with Parent Shot over um, U Turn because with Parent Shot, I can use that to go into one of my sweepers or. Yeah, I could go into my sweepers and they could take minimum damage. As possible so that we can start setting up for that sweep um honestly this thing is not too fast but it's fast enough against most of the steam with the exception of I believe annihilate so yeah annihilate no annihilate is base 90 um I think the legend the pseudo legendary box caliber is faster than this oh and a mouse hold Mouse hold is base 113. So yeah, I gotta be wary of that. Um Tailwind is just for the speed boost. Uh my team it my team outside of Fluttermane is slower than the Pokemon that I would need to kill right away to uh, so that my Cerule Edge can sweep. So yeah, Tailwind is there. Uh, besides that, this thing really not gonna be doing much besides Intimidate and stat dropping. Intimidate with stat dropping with Intimidate and Partner Shot. This week we bring Espathra with Kaba the Espathra with Pattaya Berry yet again. Same set as last week. This time I'm hoping we can do something with this and it's not sitting in the back. Um, and last but not least, we got F 
fine dining, the Tasagiri with Salak Berry. I don't even know why I got Salak Berry. I don't know why I got Storm Drain on this. Well, yeah, I do, because the ab other ability is useless in singles. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but most of my terror types for this week are normal and fairy. Those are the two types that I really need to shut down Annihilate and the and Bax Caliber, because those are the two threats that I see on paper. Um, Fine Dining has Storm Drain. It's got the Terror Type Fairy, 252 Special Attack, 252 Speed, but Atemi Nature, Draco Media, Surf, Terror Blast, and Rapid Spin. This thing does not get too much moves, um, but it does hit hard with Draco and Surf. Terror Blast is there so that it counters um, Bass Calibre, Annihilate, the Dark Dog, I mean Dark Dog. Um, Surf can counter the camera up. I still have to be wary of the Amoogus. I really don't have a direct answer with that. With this, Rapid Spin, so that um, there's no rocks going up on my side of the field. This is actually my only, only, only rock removal. Uh, like I said, the goal this week uh, is to chip away at his main threats and to get in either Cerulege or Espathra to sweep the game. You never know. I could even try to sweep with uh, Wigglytuff this week as well. But, yeah. I want to actually try to get in. Uh, I think the lead I have for this week is going to be... Uh, Squad Billy, because honestly, the Intimidate drop, he got one, two, three, four, five, five physical attackers. So the chances of a physical attacker coming in is close to 50%. So if you're leading off with Billy Bob, the Squad Billy will be the best for this week. And I don't know. I mean, I got partner shot, so that's my U-turn. So I, I could, you know, play around and see what's going on what happens so this is the squad that we're using this week and i hope you like the battle